Okay, as I was saying, um, I got this vintage briefcase, leather briefcase. Look, it has a retractable handle. <laughs> I got this briefcase for $5.99. I also think this briefcase is older than me. The reason why I like it is because of the quality of the lag and the quality of the leather. Let me show you. Looks like it's handmade. Look at that leather. It's really soft. And it has this old looking made in USA tag and that's it. Look at that leather. It's really soft. It has some canvas. Not really dirty. Really dusty at the bottom, but look, and the zipper is also high quality. And then it has snap here. You can attach the long strap too if you want. It's a very nice briefcase. It has this tag made of leather also. How cool is that? The handles retract, or you can use it like that, and then just put it under your arm. <laughs> My dad would like this if he saw this. Nice for papers. Papers, laptop, there's even a zippered compartment inside. There's several compartments. I got that for $5.99. Then off we go. Here. This is a Monsac original bag. It's not really old, but it's been featured in some fashion magazines. This is made of leather. It's croc emboss, I believe. Look at that detail. This Monsac there. Here. Right forms like a bow. I got this for $5.99. It's like a small evening bag with that shape. And it looks new, especially the inside. Should I still show you? And some paper. <laughs> you writing? Wait. There. One pack original. And it looks new and it really smells like leather. It smells so good. $5.99. Then next, I got this Nicole Miller dress. If you know Nicole Miller, we know Nicole Miller is expensive. And it's a size 10, 100% silk. That's not my size. It's really, really big on me. But I really like the color and the material. And it's only $7. Look at that dress. Green tube dress. It has that little bow and it's made of 100% silk. And it has that textured chains or vines detail. I got this for $7. Yeah, the length is below my knee. I'm gonna see if I could have it altered so I can wear it. I really like the color. And then I also got this, um, what do you call it? Rodarte for Target. It's brand new with tags. It's a size 1, but their sizing is really weird because their size 1 don't fit me. I can't believe it's a size 1. Oh shoot, it's size 7. That's why. I thought it's a size 1. Oh, So it's a size 7. That's why it's big. Look that bow. Anyway, I put this on my eBay store. But now I have, I have to tell the person who bid on it that it's a size 7, not a size 1. But it's really pretty and I got... Oh, this one I got for expensive. I think I got it for $18. But 
but I'm selling it on my eBay because it don't fit me. And guess what else I found? Do you see this chair that looks like it came from a Liberty collection? Look. Say hi to my bear. Hi bear, just a minute. Let's show them. This is a chair that looks like it's it came straight out of the Liberty Liberty London catalog or something. It's antique. They said that when I asked the manager of the Goodwill, they said it was donated by a hotel in New York. And I've been wanting to have a big chair for a while in my apartment. And I wanted this kinds of design, the big chairs, but it costs like $500 or more in Urban Outfitters, those cheap ones. And at the stores it costs a thousand something if I want this antique design with wood carvings and a nice upholstery on it. And I found it at the thrift store, finally. I can't find it anywhere online, so I think it's really, really old. When I found some similar chairs to it, it says that it's made from 1920s, so it's way older than me. And look at that. It says, made in Virginia, and it was sold by Zoll's Furniture in Broadway, New York says made by Union Brothers oh no so, yeah it's made by Union Brothers did I say Florida it's Maryland not Florida sorry Hanover Street Baltimore Mar Maryland and it says the article is in compliance with um, July 3 1926 you see how I think it's made in the 1920s and this thing has spring on it it's really bouncy but it's very much in intact condition and it's kind of clean too I guess because it came from a hotel and it has wood carvings it needs some some what do you call it varnish but I'm not gonna mind because I like antiques Look at that. It's really big. And look at the back. Let me show you the back. The whole side of it and the whole back of it is upholstered. In the same fabric that looks like it came out of Liberty London. It's so pretty. How cool is that? And guess how much I got this for? 60 bucks. Yep. He said he w he was selling it for 85, I think. And then I asked the manager, "Can I have it for 60 bucks?" and he said yes. So, yeah. So, that's all of my recent thrift store hauls nice beside my bed. There's my bed. I said big ottoman there. This became a room tour. <laughs> you want a room tour? Just tell me. Let's see. My bed. It's a platform bed. What's that? Hang my towel on that. Oh, guess what I did to my window. It's a really big window. Like the window is way bigger than me. Like it's way bigger than my door. So I did that like a stained glass effect on top so I could have some light and some but at the same time have privacy and then I put a half curtain. It's like the satin material. And I just bought this rod with the crystal on it. Isn't that pretty? I want to feel like I live in a hotel all the time. Yeah, so that's my room.